we may want to assume that Paul has gotten off to a couple of false stops on his way to ending the epistle to the Romans. But it just goes to show you how much he cares about them, for one, and how much good he wants for them, for another. Because in chapter 15, verse 5, he says, May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus. That's good. We might say amen to that. But he goes on in verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Yes, yes. Amen. Hope. We want that too. But he goes on several more times in chapter 15 and a couple of times in chapter 16. He says, I know that when I come to you I will be I will come in the fullness of the blessing of Christ. We would say amen to that. Then in verse 33 of chapter 15, May the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Amen, we say. And then in chapter 16, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Then the greetings. And then the final doxology. To the only wise God be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. Amen. And by this time, the congregation is absolutely, probably on their feet saying, Amen, Amen, Amen. He says all these things because he loves them and wants all these things for their good. Just as he wants it for you. You're listening to Orazio on KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere.